Hi everyone, this is Kron Kobaha with the International Coalition of Crohn's. This is the card of the week for week commencing 13th of July 2020. And this week I'm going to use the Moon Deck. So let's see what messages Spirit has for us for this week. So the message is, I focus on what is working. Here's the card. So let's see what messages I'm getting from the card. Well, first of all, I'm getting a message. It's, it's a reminder that uh, emotions and thoughts are very powerful. That is why so, it's so important that we check sometimes on our thought patterns and emotions, especially when we want to manifest uh, something specifically, a situation or people uh, in our lives. For example, if let's say you're a person that is generally quite positive and you're very much focused on what you want to manifest, there is a big chance you will manifest exactly what you want. On the other hand, if you are someone who's quite confused at the moment, a stress, fearful, uh, quite negative, you may attract similar situations in your life. So that's why it's so important to check on that. But if let's say you are feeling that way, uh, it's time to adjust your mind. So how do we do it? Well, one way of doing it is daily practices that will uplift your thoughts. Uh, what I mean by that, doing anything you enjoy doing. If you can do it on a daily basis, quite regularly, and I'm talking about yoga, uh, walking in nature, drawing, painting, writing, anything you enjoy, Okay, that's going to help you to stay in that sort of positive uh, thinking mind, thinking pattern. The other one is what is actually written on the card. I focus on what is working. If you do focus on what is working in your life, you're going to get a sense of gratitude. And when you're grateful, your thoughts are quite positive. So that's going to help you as well to stay in that sort of positive positive mind uh, in, in general. Now, I feel like um, I've got one or two um, advice coming from my own experience in some way. When you are in that place where you're thinking quite stressed, quite fearful or, or negative, it is important to go for progress but not perfection. And I mean by that, not giving you a hard time. Sometimes we are dealing with patterns that we've had in our lives for years or even generations, and it's going to take a certain time to go through them. So try not to give yourself a hard time. Try not to go to aim to that perfection. Just go slowly but surely, and you'll get there eventually. Now, Spirit, funny enough, just mentioned the word balance. I know I'm going to repeat myself again. I'm sure the other crones mentioned similar messages during our chats on Zoom. But I think spirits want to show us that it is so important at the moment to stay balanced. Um, the collective consciousness of humanity is going through major transformation. And we are in the eye of the storm at the minute, okay? So we need to find a way to navigate through uh, chaotic energies. And one way of doing it is to stay balanced. So I won't just 
Yes, spirit just remind me, reminding me of something very important is when I said to stay balanced, I'm talking about mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically. And spirit just reminded me they are all connected. Okay. So if let's say at the minute, at the moment, you're working on your physical, you make sure you're eating you know, healthy food, you do some exercise and you're feeling great. Well, that's going to have an impact on your thoughts because you're going to feel so great. Your thoughts would be happy thoughts or quite positive as well. If let's say you do regular meditation, you connect with spirit every day. If your physical, emotional and mental state is pretty much balanced, you'll find out that uh, your connection with spirit, your high self, the divine, whatever name you want to give it, is going to get stronger and deeper, which is wonderful. So as you can see, all these elements, like the spiritual, the mental, emotional, and physical are all connected. And if they all balance, you're fine. You can go through the storm um, let's say, well, it's not pleasant, but uh, it's going to be easier for you. Now, Spirit, any other messages? Okay, okay. Another word that's been mentioned here, perspective. I know we mentioned it in our last program, last chat on Zoom. And basically, if we can shift our perspective, um, in order to get mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally in that place of balance. It would be absolutely fantastic. We can shift that perspective. So it means rather than looking at negative situation, at perfection, just shift your perspective. Look at the situation from a different perspective like for example focusing on what is working in your life okay uh, and do your daily practices that's going to help you so shift perspective is also very important to stay in that balanced state i think that's it another wonderful message for this week okay thank you so much for watching this video and i hope the messages resonated with you. Please follow this YouTube channel for notifications on new videos. If you haven't already, check out the videos on this YouTube channel of our bi-monthly chats. Be sure to find us on Facebook and like our page so you can stay up to date on upcoming events and chats. There is a link in the write-up on this video. And thank you, thank you for your loving support of this sacred work. I'm wishing you all a wonderful week. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Geshem.